What is going on guys, it's Rob here, and welcome back to some more Subnautica. Now I've read you guys comments from a couple episodes ago saying, hey, you missed a heckin' like fragment of the prawn suit, and I never knew that this was a fragment of the prawn suit. Like, I don't even know what it looks like or anything like that, so it's kind of easy for me to miss this kind of stuff. So I came back over here, and I guess we're going to go scan it real quick. This is kind of crazy. I guess it is kind of like a like an exoskeleton type thing. Oh my gosh, I need 20 pieces? Man, okay, well... Modification station. I guess if I need that many pieces, what is that? Modific more vehicle bay, more vehicle bay, okay. I guess if I need that many pieces, I should definitely keep my eyes peeled here, you guys. Or maybe I'm going to find even more pieces, hopefully here in a bit at the Aurora or something like that. I don't know. But I definitely do, speaking of the Aurora, I definitely want to go over there. Battery charger fragment, yeah, there's so many. Oh, is that? There's another one right there, Bronze suit fragment. This looks like the same one, but... I assume it's different. Oh, yep, look at that. Two out of 20 now. All right, well, I guess what we need to do is just keep going around here. Oh, there's even another. Oh, and there's another arm right there. Can I scan that one? Huh, well, look at this. Three of them right here. Look at that, three. All right, and there's another pathway right there. Hmm, definitely want to do it. Do I have any oxygen tanks? Extra oxygen? I do not. I definitely want to go get on my sea moth. It's, it's parked outside. What is this? Uh, oh, disinfected water. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right, well, I do want to go get a little bit of oxygen real quick before I come back here and we continue exploring and stuff like that. Oh, whoa. Where in the world? Where am I at? Oh, I know where I'm at right now. <laughs> Jeez, I get this. Oh, wait. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't know where I am. <laughs> This is kind of crazy, you guys. Mold vehicle brain bay fragment. Oh yeah, that's the battery charge. Okay, okay, I know where I'm at now. All right, well, uh, what do we go this way? Yes, okay, we go this way. Man, getting totally lost over there, you guys. And it was the center of the sea moth. Ba boom. And I did speaking of the sea moth, I did do a tiny little bit of research on it by reading the other uh, thing about it. And apparently down here is where you change the power cell. So if we go into the Aurora, I definitely want to possibly take an extra power cell just to kind of replace that whenever that does run out. Because that's at like well, I, I think it was like 20% or something, just like five seconds ago. So it's probably going to run out here in a bit. You guys were saying, hey, there is storage for the sea moth, but that is apparently an upgrade. So I do not believe there's any storage I could use like right now. Maybe this place only has three pieces of it. Three out of the 20, honestly, not even the worst numbers. I also want to go back home and make a bioreactor as well. That way we could hopefully use like fish and stuff as a power source. Yeah, I'm not seeing any more pieces of the prawn suit here, you guys. So I think it is just three pieces. So I think we might be fine. Might want to go and eh, maybe I'll explore some other like wreckages that we've already been to. Maybe I'll go explore some of those and you know, now I know what uh, what to look for. Oh. Meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. I was just heading towards that thing because I thought it was my sea moth. <laughs> ah, no, let's go back home. Let's go back home and we're pretty well prepared to go to the Aurora, but the only thing I really want to do is get like a prawn, or, well yeah, I do want to get a prawn suit. Maybe we're going to find like all the rest of the pieces of the prawn suit at the Aurora itself, but uh, I do just want to go home and, you know, make sure we have enough food, make sure we have enough water, uh, you know, uh, maybe get one or two extra oxygen tanks. Maybe I'll make, a, make an extra ultra capacity thing. I have one on my back and then I'll have an extra in my inventory. What are they, three minutes a piece? That's six minutes right then and there. And we still have a lot of inventory space for loot, so that's going to be great. Let's go inside here and I guess we could make an extra one real quick. <laughs> Aboard, <sighs> I love this sign, you guys. I love it so much. It's crazy awesome. Anyways, yeah, look at this. Oh, I don't know if I did this on or off camera or what, but I put these uh, bulkheads, I think they're called. I put them on each and every, like, entrance of the multi-purpose room here, and this one is always open, as well as this one right here. Man, the frame race garbage. And because they're always open, it, it basically makes it where you just walk from one multi-purpose room to the other one, no problemo. So it does provide a little bit of structural integrity, and, and like, if there is, like, a water leak or something like that, hole damage, all that kind of stuff, we can just kind of close off and kind of isolate the problem. So that's great. Anyways, I'm hearing some water come out, so let me grab some of that. Hey, duh, let me just grab that, and I don't really need the salt, so... Yeah, look at all that water we have. Yeah, look at all those, look at all those cured peepers, too. Yeah, wow. Do we have any more cured peepers here? I think, uh, yes, we do. <laughs> I think I might have done this off camera, you guys, man. Let's definitely consume these things, ba-boom. And we can, yeah, let's get those disinfected waters. Might as well start using those as well. And what all do I need to make? the ultra thing. I think I need to make a regular one real quick, uh, high or a high capacity one, and then two glass, titanium, silver ore, and I think we just combine that with like lithium and some other stuff and we get the ultra high capacity one, but what do we need for the power cell? I think I'm going to pause the recording and make these two things here off camera. Two batteries, one silicon rubber. I think we might have that. Actually, I think we might have an extra power cell already. Uh, not in my inventory as far as I can see, and yes, there it is right there. Okay, now can you charge these power cells? 
at the battery charger? Or is it exclusively for... Oh, you... oh wait, hold on now. I just put a battery back in the battery. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. It like, kind of highlights it with red. Yeah, you cannot use the... Or you cannot charge the power cell at the battery charger. It makes sense, considering these are literal batteries, and that's a power cell. It's like, I guess it's a little bit too big to be fitting inside those tiny little battery charger containers. But anyways, yeah, definitely want to keep one in my inventory because it's down like 20 or something percent power on our CMOS, so might as well be safe than sorry, right? But I think I'm going to pause the recording real quick. Make an extra ultra capacity scuba tank. It's only an ion battery, yeah. Some of you guys were saying, hey, use the ion battery for your, like, CMOS and stuff like that. But I don't know if I'll do that. I don't know if I need my CMOS to, like, or... Did I see CMOS? I meant my C glide. I don't know. Maybe you can use it for the CMOS as well. Who knows? Maybe maybe you can. Maybe I'll do it for that, but uh, I guess I'll think about it a little bit later. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Who knows? But anyways, another battery right there with 0% charge. I guess I can go through that inside of the battery charger. I don't know what this critter is. Oh, yeah. That's, that's blood oil. That's not an egg. What am I saying? <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I wanted to keep the rebreather in my inventory just because I might need it if we go deep in the like Aurora wreckage. That's going to have to be after we deal with the whole radiation thing because of course it's, it's it's got some radiation going on right now, so we cannot just go into there with the rebreather. We have to have a full set of a uh, radiation armor and stuff like that. So we definitely need to be using. We have to right now. It's pretty much imperative. We have to have the full radiation suit on until we fix the radiation problem. And apparently, if I remember correctly, we need to go to the uh, where is it? Data downloads, Aurora Survivor Coast and Clues. That's I think that's it. High Security Terminal Captain's Quarters. I think that's what it is. Yep, there's the code right there. Before they lost communications, Altera HQ uploaded a set of blueprints to the Aurora's main computer. There is a high security terminal inside the Captain's Quarters located behind the prawn bay. Ooh, maybe that's where I'll find some prawn suit fragments that I could scan, from which the blueprints should be accessible. Ooh, and maybe some other blueprints as well, it sounds like. Mm. Yeah, I don't think that's the one they're talking about in terms of getting rid of the radiation. Maybe it's something else. Uh, I'm not really seeing it. Yeah, whatever. We'll worry about it when the time comes, but man, I keep hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> we'll worry about it when the time comes, but anyways, going to pause the recording real quick, get some of that stuff made and crafted, and I guess I'll see you guys over at the Aurora where we're going to finally explore it and maybe even find a bunch of blueprints, a bunch of fragments and stuff for the Cyclops, for the prawn suit and everything else, and maybe a bunch of other stuff that we may need. Maybe maybe I'll make like some other tools, like that, uh, not the stasis rifle, maybe I will make a stasis rifle, but the, uh, well, what is it called? Repulsion cannon. Maybe I'll make one of those. How do, how do you make that? And it'll scanner light stick. Yeah, I don't need that garbage. We already have the scanner, but, uh, what is it going to be? Personal equipment tools. Where is it at? Laser cutter, stasis rifle. Uh, I guess I could make that. Ooh, I need two magnetite. I don't think I have that, though. Man. Propulsion cannon. Yeah, I, I could do that. Yeah, warps gravity to pull and push objects. Maybe I could use that. Yeah, wiring kit, battery, and titanium. I've got a couple extra batteries just kind of sitting around. Wiring kit, I should be able to do that. I think it's silver and some other stuff, and of course titanium. That's nothing, so... Yeah, maybe I'll make a, uh... A, what do you call it? <laughs> A propulsion cannon. Maybe I'll make one of those as well, and alongside the extra ultra capacity tank, and I was going to say power cell, but of course we already had one, so definitely going to have to keep that one in my inventory as well. But anyways, got to pause the recording, get that stuff done, and I will see you guys here in a bit. All right, guys, back, and you guys remember the first life pod that we ever visited. The guy that apparently went into the caves to, I don't know, seek shelter or something like that, and I probably got killed or something like that. Well, I'm down here right now trying to get some magnetite. I remember I found some magnetite down here because... You know, I need some magnetite to make the stasis rifle. That's what I kind of want to make real quick. You can see I already have the propulsion gun in my inventory down there. And I found some remains, some ruins. It looks like a PDA. Let me pick it up. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Ooh, environment log. And these are like giant things of gold there too, which is kind of crazy. And a big old light. Of course, we already have that thing scanned. Is that a, uh, is that a battery? Can I take that? I guess I can't take that battery pack. What, uh, what about with the... I can think. I guess I can't do that either. Okay, whatever. <laughs> uh, all right, well, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get, like, magnetite and stuff like that. There's even more right here. I'm trying to get, you know, a decent amount of it. Uh, I don't need that silver. I don't need that silver. I can just get a little bit of silver. No problem. As well as, uh, I think you need magnetite to extend the range of the scanner room alongside, like... I don't know, wires, copper wire, I don't know. I don't know what else you need, but I do know you need magnetite for it as well. But anyways, here's my Seamoth. And you guys can see my inventory is like full to the brim right now. There's almost no wrecking room inside there. So I really need to clean it out. My, my That's the thing, though. I, oh, sheesh. That's the thing, though. I, I need, I probably need the sea glider. I could probably get rid of it. I don't know. Ah. 
but the extra oxygen tank, I, I, I definitely think we might need that. I might leave the propulsion cannon back home. I don't know. Maybe I'll take it. Uh, stasis rifle. I kind of want to take that as well. But if I get that, I have basically no inventory space. So definitely want to get rid of, you know, a couple bottles of water, a couple, uh, how many? Yeah, I've got three first aids. That might be enough just in case, like, you know, we come across anything or anyone. Might want to have, yeah, three bottles of water, three peepers, three uh, first aid kits. That shouldn't be too bad, especially because I'm like, it isn't too far away from our base, I guess. So, and we might even find some stuff over there. You guys remember those data drops or data caches, whatever they're called, I forget. But those things almost always seem to have water in them. And we did see like nutrient blocks in one of them as well. I don't know if they could also have first aid kits and stuff, but you never know. So there may be materials, resources and stuff already at the Aurora. So we probably don't need to bring a ton of it and just kind of hog up inventory space in our inventory. If I want to have, you know, a little bit of inventory space for juicy loot and whatnot, right? <laughs> Anyways, let's go down here into the base real quick. And let's go see if we could actually make that upgrade. Uh, actually, I'll do that off camera. And the stasis right what do we need for that one? I do need, or I do know we needed like a magnetite or something. Yeah, we need a two magnetite. Ooh, thankfully I got like three or four back there. Not bad. Computer chip and one titanium. So we should be able to do that here pretty soon. But the computer chip, we need one gold, two tamo coral sample, and copper wire. So yeah, that shouldn't be too hard to get. And look at that. We have even more I can med kits there. Golly. Well, anyways, I'm going to pause the recording and continue preparing up here. God, that's full. I don't know where to put this stuff. <laughs> but I'm going to pause the recording and continue preparing and I guess I'll see you guys here in a bit. Man, the frame rate's garbage here. Never mind, you guys. Okay, well, we got that PDA. Might as well I can see what it says or data download or whatever. It gave us like coordinates or something. Environment log. Okay, well, oh, what in the world? User Paul Torgal requested cross-referencing of local environment. Hold on. Was this one of the Paul Torgal, like, experimental locations or something? Huh. Cause this was this was the one that I picked up. I thought it was the life pod like 17 or whatever that guy was. Huh. Anyways, user Paul Torgal requested cross-referencing of local environment scans with ideal habitat construction conditions, displaying results. Results. Large subterranean cavern with multiple entrances. Conditions support a unique microcosm of predatory life forms. Minor structural instability in cave walls. Extensive resource deposits. Average environmental safety rating C. Optimal habitat site safety rating B. Eh, not too bad, I guess. Site 7 has been selected as the optimal habitat construction site for the following reasons. Close proximity to one of the cave entrances in case of an emergency. Yeah, that is like almost right next to the cave entrance. Sounds like right there, basically. Medium distance from predatory organisms. Yeah. I'm like, we saw some of those long snake craters in the background, but yeah, they were kind of in the background. They weren't really nearby. Medium distance, right? Stable foundations on which to build. And ready access to materials. A signal tracking the site has been created. Ooh. Alright, well, I don't know. I guess maybe that's where one of their, like, other, like, bases is at, and it really didn't get, like, going at all, because it was basically nothing there. I don't know. Well, anyways, now for reals, I'm gonna actually pause the recording and make the propulsion gun and get rid of a bunch of trash and <laughs> all that kind of stuff and i'll see you guys here in a bit all right guys back and check it out look at my oh whoops look at my ekin inventory we've got the stasis rifle we've got the propulsion cannon we've got an extra ultra high capacity tank as well as the one that's of course on our back oh yeah speak to that we should probably charge it up with a bunch of oxygen or fill it up whatever i keep so I, I keep saying charge whatever <laughs> speaking of charge we have one extra full battery and one extra full power cell over here and i, I guess the stasis rifle uses power cells or something like that i don't know it required a battery but i was just doing a little bit of reading on it to apparently you could actually use it to like slow fan blades and stuff like that so that sounds like an essential thing for the uh aurora thing but it said power cell maybe it just mean, means that as like a, a broad term to you know mean battery yeah right there replaceable power cell so i assume maybe it requires a battery because i think it required a battery to craft not a power cell so who knows what's going on anyways down the three first aid three large water or large what filtered water god <laughs> and of course three cured peepers and i feel like we're ready to go you guys i have my radiation helmet right now rather than my uh, rebreather just because i'm like i just don't have the inventory space and if we did need the rebreather uh, i'm like we have so much oxygen it don't really matter too much i suppose anyways let's get on this guy. oh my gosh yeah look at that the power on this guy is only down to three or so right now oh we have a uh by the way i don't know if i mentioned this on camera but that little life pod icon that's in the middle left of my screen right now if you guys are having that problem i did a little bit of research just go to your beacon thing and go to your life pod and hide and unhide that and it should go away just like that so there we go anyways let's just start heading towards the general direction of that's not it <laughs> of the aurora let's go see oh speaking of hold on yeah i saw something here uh, that that time castle that we got a little while ago 
Look at this. It says it has a little like kitty cat with like a space helmet on and it says keep calm. There's like a poster. It's like a picture of some guy's bedroom. He's got a pot right there, a plant. He's got like a little stuffed animal. It says hang in there. Remember to keep calm and carry on. To survive, you must learn to grow in your new habitat. That's awesome. I got some comments from you guys saying that those time capsules are from like actual other players. I don't know if you mean like other players as in like other people actually playing the game like Subnautica or if you guys mean that by like other Aurora survivors that might be in game, you know, like NPCs and stuff like that non-player characters anyways yeah let's start in towards the aurora i don't know like where to start honestly in this in this kind of thing there are a couple like wreckages that were like kind of close to the aurora i guess we can kind of so we could find those wreckages and of course go from there oh this is about as close as we've ever gotten of course we do have the full radiation thing on right now we're going to, need to replace the power cell of this uh sea moth here in just a bit you guys it's down to just one there on the right corner oh there he goes went oh what uh oh Escape. Get out. Get out. There you go. And thankfully, I looked up where in the world we have to go to change out the power cell, but, uh, and there we go. And, oh, 100%. There you go. All right. It's back up online and operational. Oh, metal salvage right there. Yeah, I don't need that garbage. Oh, is this another? I don't think we've been in. This one looks a little bit too small. You never know. I guess if we just kind of venture around a little bit, it seems like it's in a relatively safe area. And there may be prawn, like, arms and stuff like that, so we definitely want to watch out for these things. Uh, I don't think I need limestone out. I guess I'll break it. And, yeah, titanium out. I'll just leave that there. I don't need that garbage. I do have one extra battery. Oh, yeah, I said that already. But I also filled up all of the batteries, recharged all the batteries in my inventory of all the machines. So, oh, is this locked? Oh, I need to, yep, here we go, repair that, I might repair it, I might as well put my repair gun in my hotbar, but yeah, everything has 100% power, or, you know, close to it, this, this repair tool has 95, but it was 100%, just believe me, I was repairing my, uh, Seamoth a couple times, anyways, there we go, and, oh, open door, looks like it's working, alright, ooh, seems like there might be stuff in here, there we go, get my light on, is there anything here worth scanning, get the scanner gun out, uh, arrive with the bats, oh, see, oh wait, Propose guys you have, but what in the world? Is that another one? Hold on. I feel like it ain't. It's gotta be the, uh, proposed attack to Gazi Habitat we just read about. Okay, whatever. All right, let's leave that on screen. We can go worry about that a little bit later. Looks like a sea glide fragment there. Oh, okay. So this seems like... But uh, you'd have the laser cutter by now. Or, no, 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 no. Yeah. You need the repair gun, not the laser cutter. So I guess this is like a pretty much a guaranteed place to get the sea glide if you're able to come in here and, of course, repair the thing. If you, if you could even figure out that's what you needed to do. Yeah, there's another... Oh, wait, that was the first one. Whatever. <laughs> oh, oh, here we go. A little hallway right here. Ladder. And... I guess we're... Oh, here we go. Is this the back area? Can I do... Oh, what is that? Mobile vehicle. Wow. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Mobile vehicle. You would have had the sea glider early. You would have had the mobile vehicle bay. I think the mobile vehicle bay was like two parts. Man. <sighs> Really wish I found this thing a little bit earlier on, but what are you going to do? Anyways, we're probably going to have a lot of these instances, you guys, whenever we go visit the Aurora. A lot of you guys were saying, hey, Aurora was like the first thing you're supposed to go explore. We're on like episode 20 or something by now, so <laughs> who knows what's going on. <laughs> we're probably missing out on a bunch of stuff, but yeah, speaking of the Aurora, I guess I could go home and you, know, you guys said, hey, you, you go to sleep and we'll turn to daytime, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. We can probably just keep on adventuring around right now. Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, we're probably going to find like big pieces of like the Aurora and stuff like that. Can I, is that something scanned? That looks like quartz right there as well. Let's get our scanner. Nothing there. Yeah, we're, we're coming across like big pieces of the Aurora a little bit more often here once we get next to the uh, actual big uh, like debris of the Aurora. Yeah, look at these like girders. Wow. Big coral things here. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. Oh, there's a sand shark. This is what I was talking about with like the... Oh, there's a data thing with like the displacement of all the sand and stuff like that. Yeah, what in the world is this bone shark, sand shark thing doing? They really think it can win against me? I don't think so. Oh, another, uh, two data box. Oh, wait, hold on. Where's the first one at? Or oh, was that this? Oh, okay, here's one. Let's go hang out here next to this one. I don't know if that's another one right there. Or maybe it was right there. I can't remember. Anyways, let's go look at this. What is it? Oh, supply crate. Oh, a battery. Wow. Or was that a power cell? Uh, okay, it was a battery. 100% charge as well. Nice. All right, well, let's get it back on our sea moth. There you go. <laughs> just crashed into my own Z-Moth. And that looks like just a bunch of rubble there. Oh, yeah, here's the other one. Let's see what's inside of this one. It's a blank rain with another battery. Yes, yes. I could go back home and just kind of drop these off because I do not need them right now. Oh, yeah, there's another one. Yeah, there's a lot of these here. Holy heck. 
And another battery. Oh, no, 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 get inside the Z-Moth. Oh, Z-Fan sound. No mind if I do. Looks like a little bit of salt right there. And... Oh, just ran into like a peeper or something. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, just a bunch of rubble, yeah. This is going crazy here, you guys. Oh, we're already down to 97% power. But you guys remember how long our uh, Seamoth lasted the last uh, on our, on its first battery, honestly. It's kind of crazy. Hopefully, we can actually find that moon pool, not moon base or whatever. I've been saying the last, like, five, ten episodes or whatever. <laughs> uh, moon base. Yeah. Oh, that looks like a bio. Oh, man, I forgot to make the bioreactor thing, but that might, that might be something else. You never know. It might be part of the <gasps> Cyclops engine fragment. Yes. Yes. What is this going to do? So, oh man, I have to make like each individual piece, it seems like. So, 33% on the engine. Here's another piece that looks similar. It might be, uh, that looks like a hatch or something. I don't know. I guess we'll see. So, oh, bridge fragment. Okay. Uh, yeah, it looks like a hatch. It makes sense if it was part of the bridge. Thing. Oh, yeah, we have two pieces. Yeah, we had like the bridge hole or something uh, a little bit earlier on. That's a uh, little fish fellow, yeah. Oh, more critters. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's the Aurora. That looks like just metal scraps, metal salvage, whatever you want to call it. Oh, here's another, uh, yep, there you go. Man, yeah, I know what you guys are talking about now, being like, oh, medkit, yeah. I'm like, I guess it's always good to have. Especially if we're going to be coming across, like, sand sharks and stuff like that. On the reg, if you will. <laughs> but let's keep going around. Kind of, kind of, like, staying close to the Aurora. Just because that's where all the loot seems to be. I'm like, we've come across, like, four data bar, or, uh, supply crates, whatever you want to call them. Oh, sheesh. Yeah, I don't want to be that close where we end up crashing in. Yeah, speaking of supply crates, here's another one right here. Now, this is the engine back here, it looks like. So, I don't know if this is the best idea. Oh, what was that? Oh, another battery. Wow, yeah. My, my inventory's getting full of batteries. Like, I'm not even complaining. Uh, but at the same time, I don't need this many batteries. Is that another supply crate there? Hold on. I don't know what that is. Oh. What's that noise? Uh-oh. No, 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 no. Reaper level. Uh oh that's it. That's it. I've got to get out, got to get out, got to get out. Oh, no, 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 it's stolen by Ekin Seamoth. No, 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 I'm running, running, I'll drop, oh, no. Rest in heck in peace, Seamoth. Oh, my gosh. Holy. Oh, my gosh. Can I not? Yep, yep. Well, at least I got out of there before I died. Holy heck. Man, now we need to go make another sea moth. Okay, whatever. What's inside here? Water. Woo, lad. That was worth risking my hacking life for. Golly, I saw that thing like at the last second. At the oh no 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 it's right behind me. Just keep running. Just keep running. No 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 no. Oh my gosh, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm going up to the water. I'm going up to the surface. Oh my gosh, this seemed to work last time. I'm not looking around. I'm not looking behind me. I'm just going straight back home. Oh my gosh. Oh. I don't see it. Oh, man. Did you guys see what happened to my sea moth? That thing is again gone. If I didn't escape, if I didn't get out of there, I would have been dead. Like, there's no going around it. Like, I would have been absolutely I can dead. Like, I, 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 I'm not even trying to be funny. Yeah, I think that's the habitat we were at just a little while ago. I don't think we need to have that little beacon on. But, man, we need to go make another one of those. <laughs> Yeah, let me get rid of that little beacon right there. Gah! But once Seamoth is down, that's another thing we need to worry about, you guys. Those Ekin Reaper Leviathans. Good thing I did, uh, you know, minimal reading on them. And, you know, it's red. Hey, whenever you see them, you might as well just run. Whenever they, they grab onto you with those mandibles and stuff like that, you're basically a heckin' goner. You might as well escape and, you know, save your life and stuff like that. Yeah, your Seamoth, you can just make another one, but your life, you're heckin' dead, if that's the case. There's no going back from that. <laughs> My body would be ripped into a billion pieces at that point, man, if I stayed in that thing. But thankfully, I got out alive somehow. I don't know, but let's go back inside. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's go to, let's go to the mobile, mobile vehicle. Bay. I'm probably going to get comments like, hey, why don't you just continue exploring the Aurora? But I feel extremely vulnerable right now, you guys. As well as I have an inventory full of heckin' batteries, so might as well drop those off. But what do we need to make another sea moth? <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I was about to say, like, I can make a heckin' cycle. Oh, my God. Pro yeah, okay. Prawn suit right there. There's a Cyclops, and of course, a sea moth. We have one power cell, but I think that's the empty one, but I guess we could use it to make another one, right? <laughs> Titanium ink gets two glass, one lubricant, one lead. We could make that, like, right now. I, I, I'm pretty sure we have those materials, like, right now. The sea moth is awesome. 
pretty like, easy to craft. Like, it's kind of crazy. I thought it'd be, like, way harder than that. But I guess because it is your first vehicle not carrying the C-Glide, it's got to be pretty easy, right? Especially when it's heckin' breaking easy peasy like that. Golly. Anyways, the Seamoth is back. So I assume the other one's, like, little beacon thing. I assume that's not working anymore. Yeah, I need to recolor. What was it, like, orange? I don't know what I had the color as, but I guess I'm keeping it as orange. But look at that, you guys! The second Seamoth. Seamoth Mark II. Thankfully, I never upgraded that thing. Golly. Should I make another power cell just in case? I don't know. Welcome aboard, Captain. I'm like, I feel like the other power cell lasted quite a while. Oh, is there anything else I want to put up while I'm here? Oh, yeah. I forgot. Oh, yeah. Let me go get the extra ultra, whatever you call it. Uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. See, I, I keep like thinking this, like, do I actually need the extra ultra high capacity thing when we have the Seamoth? But like, we're going to be inside of the Aurora. Of which, you know, half of it's like heckin' underwater. Maybe more than half, I don't know. So, might as well have... Where in the world am I? Oh, there it is, right there. <laughs> might as well have the extra capacity if we ever do go on like a long expedition inside the actual Aurora itself while underwater. So, better safe than sorry. Especially when we do not have the rebreather like I've emphasized multiple times before. Anyways, I guess we're going to stay on a relatively high uh, elevation. I don't know where, like, we should start in terms of this Aurora. Maybe not in the back? Maybe towards the front where it's like broken off. Maybe there's going to be like locations inside of there where it's going to be a little bit easier for you to like sneak in, you know? Because uh, that's happened a few times with like these big old pieces like roll. What was that? That's an infected bone shark, I think. Yes. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure sand sharks hang out like, you know, near the sand. So that's got to be a bone shark. I don't think I've ever seen those guys like that close to my base. That's kind of crazy. And there's another one right there. Am I getting. Oh, I'm heading the wrong direction. Uh, which way? Oh, here we go. What in the world? Oh, man, yeah, I'm far as heck away from the U-Awful. Golly! But yeah, I kind of want to go to the opposite side of the Aurora. Shouldn't be too hard to get that close to it. Uh, yeah, these got to be, like, like a young little reefback fellows, because they don't have any, you know, reefs on their back. And I guess these are the parrots or something like that. Anyways, speaking of reefs, got to be careful of reapers. Now, is there anything? Oh, hold on. That looks like another piece of the, uh... uh oh, man, my lights are on. I need to turn that off. Looks like another... Oh, no, wait, that might be a uh, scanner room fragment or bio or... Uh, yeah, bio right there or... Yeah, scanner room fragment. Just kind of making sure here, you guys. Oh, God. Just making sure here, uh, Metal Salvage. Because you can never be too careful, especially with those prawn suit things. Like, I don't know what each... Maybe each piece is going to look like the arm. I don't know. But I guess better saves than sorry, like I said. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else around here. At least right off the bat. All right, let's get back inside the Seamoth. But yeah, getting honestly pretty good loot there. And like I said, we did find some water there as well, so it's probably not the best idea to carry, you know, half my inventory full of water and stuff like that. Maybe do that with, like, food, but at the same time, I have the thousand degree knife. I could just, like, hit a peeper once and I have a cooked peeper, I could eat, like, right there. So, yeah, that one's not really that big a video. And first aid kits. We found a first aid kit there as well, so don't need to have my inventory full of them. But, of course, don't want to have my inventory devoid of them either. Definitely want to at least have a little bit of them. Just in case we do not come across any. I think that's the one we just investigated. That, uh, that scrap, that rubble. So don't think we need to investigate that. I think I'm going to continue going around the, uh, outer perimeter of this Aurora. Maybe see if we can come across any new rubble to investigate and scan and see if it will give us any juicy loot. Oh, here we go. Speaking of such, we have a loot box right there. And supply crate. Oh, med kit. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to open. I'm going to keep that there cause, just because I don't need it. If I do need it, it'll be nice to be like, hey, there's one right there. I could just grab it, no problem. So just going to keep it there because I do not need it right now. More rubble around here. You got. Ooh. Here's something making some noise. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I definitely want to be careful here, guys. Whoa. Anyways, more rubble, but it looks like it's just like a piece of hole or something like that. So don't think I'm able to get anything out of that. Same thing up here, but it looks like there's a, uh, box up here, a supply box. That looks like metal salvage or something like that under there. No, that's a part of the Aurora right there. There's a piece of, like, giant piece of titanium there. What is this? Uh, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Uh, power transmit. Oh, yeah, I think we already have that, right? Or no. Oh, that thing. Yeah, I, I could give it a peeper. I did do a little bit of minimal research on these guys. And whenever you give them a peeper and quote unquote tame them, it, it, it isn't a permanent tame. It, it only lasts temporarily. So there's that. Anyways, more metal salvage, more loot. I guess it's always good to just kind of, you know, loot these. Just kind of see what it gives you. Yeah, disinfective water. Um, 
drink that, and I guess I'll drink that one as well, just get my water up so I don't have to use any of my large capacity water bottles, but there you go, nice! Alright, that's what I'm talking about! Just kinda loot it, just to see what it has, and you never know, it might be actually pretty helpful, it might be pretty valuable. Let's see what's inside there. Anything? Yeah, it looks like it. Looks like a sea moth or a beacon or something like that. Uh, I'll get up close to it real quick. Propulsion cannon fragment, yeah, we already have that. Of course we have that, I think, in our inventory right now, right? Yeah, I didn't put it up, that's good. There's the, uh, whatever you call it, begin stalker. Definitely want to watch out for those fellas, because they will stalk you. And looks like a stalker versus sand shark right there, right on top of a piece of juicy loot. As well as, speaking of juicy loot, two... Th uh, it looked like there was maybe three right there, right next to each other, but two pieces of juicy loot. Okay, let's get on our sea glide, just kind of go investigate these, open these up real quick. Get in and out. Oh, battery! All readings in this region are sparse. The Aurora's radioactive fallout will have devastating effects on the alien ecosystem if not contained within the next 24 hours. Ooh, 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 ooh. Reaper Leviathan, let's go. Let's gain some elevation. Let's try and go to the opposite. Oh, wait, hold on. This looks like. Oh! Is this, uh. Where we can go inside? Oh, it looks like it! Okay, guys, I think we found it. This looks like where we enter. Uh oh. Things are getting unstable here, you guys. I do not like this feeling of like the whole thing like shaking like that is crazy. Not seeing anything around the bat. Like no straight up entrances for us to go inside of. Maybe they're gonna be above water. I'm not sure. I'm not moving right now. I'm not moving my thing. Uh it seems like those okay, seems like those earthquake things are temporary, so that's good, I guess. Let's keep going around here. Yeah, it seems like it's I might need to, like, get out of the water. Might need to do that, yeah. Warning, ship's structural integrity is low. Fire suppression equipment and laser cutters may be required. Exploration is conducted at your own risk. Man, oh man, I knew I forgot something. I knew I forgot the fire extinguisher. I need to go out. Yeah, where in the world do I go to get out of here now? <laughs> oh no! I need to get out of here. Structural integrity, eh, everything's shaking here. I don't want... This whole thing that can explode whenever I'm here, you guys. Wow! Well, I think I might pause the recording and go back home if I can find my way out of here first, right? Uh, this should be fine. Oh, oh, okay, this is the front of it, I think. Okay, I think I'm good. I, I just go this way, I think. We'll be good to go. Hopefully we don't run into another Reaper Leviathan. But I, I think I'm gonna pause the recording and go back home real quick and go get the fire extinguisher. Man, that thing is essential. That was from, like, episode one. What in the world was that? That was a warper that just warped in or something. Uh oh, no, 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 no. Elevation! Elevation! Gain elevation! Keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, keep running, just keep running. Oh my god, oh my god. Do not want our second sea moth to be destroyed. Let's go! No, oh, it's still behind me! It's still behind me! Come on, go, go! Oh my god, a kilometer away from the U waffle. Come on! Gain some elevation. I do not want to look behind me. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Is it safe? It seems like it. I haven't heard a roar. I think I might be fine. At least for now. But what is that? Is there something here? There is. Is that another life pot? I think it is. I think we found the other one, you guys. Oh yeah, it's like tipped upside down. I think we found it, you guys. Okay, okay, no uh, thing following me. Yeah, this is it. I remember this. You guys remember this? The picture was taken like right here. You guys saw it. It was like facing towards the back of it. Yeah, this is... These guys did not survive. Like, their thing got tipped upside down. Here's the, uh... What's it say? Creature decoy attracts creatures to its location, can be deployed by hand, or by submarine, cannot be reclaimed once deployed. What? Whoa! Huh! Blueprint acquired. In uh, PDA. Life Pod 4 crew log. Hmm. Integrating new PDA data. Well, let's go listen or, uh, slash read to that thing here in a bit. Wow. So we got a decoy thing. That might be... I don't know if the Reaper Leviathan is going to, like, fall for this decoy. If it, if this decoy is what it sounds like, you know, an actual decoy. We could use it to trick, you know, critters. I don't know if that Reaper Leviathan is too smart for it or what. But it might be worth trying out, you guys. Either way, we're in a relatively safe spot right now. Relatively safe. I'm like, we are, like, right next to the Aurora. So <laughs> there's still that danger of the Reaper Leviathan. It's just kind of sneaking up on us, but... Might be in a decently safe area right now. Anyways, yeah, I should probably eat some food. Uh, let me get a cured people. I might just go outside and just, like, kill a few of them, cook a few of them with my thermal blade, you know, and just kind of eat them that way. Anyways, um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, we have the blueprint for the... How, how do you make that, though, the decoy thing? 
Where's that at? Oh, there it is right there. Creature decoy. Attracts creatures to its location. Can be deployed by ant or by submarine. Or uh, I guess the Seamoth cannot deploy it. Cannot be reclaimed once deployed. Ooh. Okay, so it's like a one-time thing. Not like the beacon where you could deploy it and then pick it back up and just kind of move it somewhere else. Indigenous life. Let me, here we go. Daniel downloads Aurora Survivors. Uh, life pod 4 crew log. Here we go. Let's listen. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Oh, well, I'm like, we can't go there just yet. And I assume this guy's dead by now. I'm like, that that ship did explode on like episode two or three or something like that. So even if he did take cover in the ship or whatever he was doing, he's dead by now. Like, it's just a fact. Anyways, let me just pause the recording real quick. Go, go back home, get the fire extinguisher, you know, get rid of some of this trash. We might want to make one of those decoy things. So uh, how do you make that though? Hold on. So three titanium, two of which we already have, and a wiring kit. Might want at least one of those, just in case we might want it, you know. It, it shouldn't be too bad, it shouldn't be too hard to make. And it's a one-time thing, so... Do I still have that one life thing in my... Yeah, just like this air bladder is like a one-time thing, so... Actually, hold on, that one might be reusable. Uh, chemical reaction produces higher... Uh, I don't know, usually those are like one-time things. So, uh, I don't know. Either way, go ahead and pause the recording, and I'll see you guys back at the Aurora crash site. <laughs>